at Abu Dhabi Airport and I'm heading off on my next adventure. I am going over to Oman for two days. So um, I've been doing a fair bit of research on the things to see over there and there is so much. So I know that two days are definitely not going to be enough. So there's going to have to be another video that I do uh, the next time I get to go back. But um, yeah, super cheap flights on Wiz, love Wiz. Um, I think I'll exhaust on my close destinations soon. But um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm officially in Oman. I've got a new stamp in my passport, uh, which is super exciting. Um, visa on arrival, which didn't cost me anything, which was great. And now I'm about to head out of the airport, which is a really, really beautiful airport, and get my hire car. I hired a car because I did look it up, and the taxis, I don't think they're particularly cheap, um, and the city's quite spread out. So I wanted to be able to just um, not worry about that expense. I know I've got a fixed expense. The car, this is how much it costs per day. Um, and so it just, yeah, just makes it easy for budgeting, I suppose. But high cars are notoriously expensive uh, in terms of, you know, public transport options. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm becoming complacent and uh, I'm looking more for ease now in my old age. Anyway, so yeah, that's it. I picked up the car and I've got a really cool Hyundai Elant Elantra? Elantra? Elantra. And it's really, really nice actually. So um, the motorway out of the airport was really quiet. So it was a really nice introduction uh, if you're a little bit worried about uh, getting thrown into traffic straight away. But no, so that was really good. So I got the car and I have made my way up to a road. Uh, and it winds up and down the mountain as you see I'm in like a mountainous region now which is just on the edge of the city like you don't have to go far for this uh, and um, and it's called Muscat View and yeah I'm going over there now to see it it's beautiful I did check it out first um, yeah windy up here because you know it is quite high and in the mountains but look at this for a view like it is just stunning and that road is so cool uh, it was really easy actually to drive up it as well so they've um, marked it out beautifully it's two lanes um, lots of room to turn on the corners so beautiful roads I'm a, just I'm loving driving actually and I don't normally like driving so ah, uh, but yeah so cool uh, but now I've got to get down. <laughs> okay, so funny story is that the road um, back over the mountain was closed and so I had to find an alternative route which there was it was just a little bit longer um, but I have now made my way to the National Museum of Oman so um, yeah I'm actually really excited I hope this has some really actually I'm, I'm pretty sure it has some really great information on um, Omani culture people um, and that type of thing so yeah um, yeah let's get stuck into it So one of the things I really enjoy doing is trying to find the oldest thing in the museum. And I think I've found it. Um, so these say that they are 2 million to 250 BCE. Uh, so that's um, a long time ago. And they are tombs from the Paleolithic era. So that's probably the oldest thing I've ever seen. <laughs>
the most amazing meal. It uh, was an Omani dish. It was uh, shua, shua, which is um, a slow cooked lamb and like a biryani rice and it had a yogurt uh, you know that you put on top and it was just so good um, so yeah got it from this place really lovely really uh, yeah a bit funky but um, yeah great so good so good walked from lunch along the Corniche and to uh, Matra uh, Fort so um, I'm almost there now and it is really humid it's not particularly hot for I mean for this region it's uh, 34 35 but the humidity <laughs> is a little oppressive um, and but yeah so we're here at the fort So this is Matra Fort, Matra Fort, and it was built in around the 1500s, uh, common era, and so it's been here for quite some time. Um, it was to safeguard against people attacking from the sea and people attacking from the land, so it's a really great position. Um, and then the Portuguese did come here and they added some bits and pieces, and I think someone else. Maybe one of the sultans also added some bits and pieces to it as well. But still, it's it's really, really lovely. Um, <laughs> it overlooks the the um, the sea, and yeah, it's just really, really nice. my way to Mutra Souk uh, and I came down here because I just wanted to experience it and also I did read that there were some um, good places to buy souvenirs so I um, yeah I, I picked up like a, a magnet <laughs> and an evil eye decoration uh, for my house so um, yeah it's, it's really cool in there um, lots of little alleys full of stores and uh, some people can be a little pushy <laughs> when they're trying to make a sale but look it's all good it's uh, part of the fun
made my way to Sultan Quabos, 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 uh, Grand Mosque and it is closed but uh, I just thought I'd come and look at it anyway because it's not open at all this weekend. Um, well, Google says it's not open until Monday anyway. So I made it just in time for a magnificent sunset. Like it is just so beautiful uh, going through the, um, just going through all the, the date trees over there. So it's a, a beautiful building and I do, and I do like buildings. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a look around the grounds and, um, and just admire the architecture. finished dinner at the Oryx Oryx uh, restaurant uh, Chinese I haven't had Chinese in a while so it was the closest <laughs> the closest restaurant to the hotel uh, that wasn't in the hotel so I uh, thought I would come down and have some and I got a vegetable sizzler plate which was six Omani Riyadh 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 and um, Oh, so delicious um, but the weird thing about it was that it had like hot cooked chips on top of the um, vegetables in sauce and I, I just didn't understand why it had uh, why it had chips on top of the vegetables in sauce but anyway it was delicious um, I am absolutely wrecked I've been up since four o'clock this morning and I am struggling to stay awake so I'm going back to the hotel to sleep. So the first thing I'm going to go see today is the Hemria Petri Cliffs um, and it's I've driven here it's probably about a know, 15 minute drive from the hotel I was staying at and um, yeah I really like Petri Cliffs actually so I'm a bit excited about this one and it's a short hike from the car park Park and um, yeah, hopefully, it's really interesting. So, I've been walking down this uh, dry riverbed for about 20 minutes, and the Google review said that um, it was a short hike and I don't know what a short hike is because but a short hike to me is different to the next person so um, I haven't seen anything obvious except for some arrows pointing this direction and so I'm continuing to walk but I just at what point do you like think maybe I've already gone past it and I should go back and have a look I don't know so um, I might push on for another few minutes and see it is quite warm out here and which was a bit silly so yeah I'll see what I can find or maybe I'll we'll find nothing but it is really pretty um, the terrain is uh, loose underfoot uh, sorry there's a lot of solid rocks uh, big solid rocks but a lot of the little stuff it's all loose so if you do come down here uh, yeah watch your footing uh, we're decent shoes. I did start going back and then I saw one of those arrows with 500 meters and an arrow this way and I thought look I must have missed it so I came back again and I still can't find anything so um, I don't want to ruin a tourist area but you know even just like a little sign that says here <laughs> look around here uh, would probably be really helpful I feel like it should be on this rock um, it's the right type of rock dark and it's got orange underneath um, so any drawings or whatever really would stand out but I just I can't find it and it's too hot 
got so many other things to go and see. So my face is red. <laughs> I need a drink. Um, yeah, so I'm going back to the car. A little bit disappointed. But um, yeah, there's other things to see. That was a bust. Couldn't find any petroglyphs, so come here. You might find them, you may not. Uh, don't be disappointed if you don't, but be super excited if you do. <laughs> um, On the way to yeah. the petroglyphs, I saw this really cool. Uh, well, you have to go up this windy road, and I did notice that there was a little part you could pull off. So I thought on the way back, I would pull off and I would have a look at the view, and it is stunning. Like, I mean, uh, this is, I don't know, I guess this is, it's just beyond my imagination like it's just it's so beautiful um, I'm still absolutely knackered I'm gonna go and find a service station to get some drinks at um, and yeah and then try and find a nice air-conditioned museum to go and look into I've got some drinks and I've refilled and now I am at the Sultan's Armed Forces Military Museum so the uh, <laughs> The Nats have did try to take me through the actual military base. Um, oh, sorry, not that. It's not Nats have, it's just Google, Google Maps. Uh, and so they did redirect me into the right way and I'm finally here. So yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to going and seeing what this one has. There's some stuff on the grounds, like some tanks and some cars and a plane. So it should be good. here a little bit late and so um, it was a very very quick visit inside their museum and there is um, someone uh, so I'm going to assume a serving member of the forces who actually takes you around uh, the museum and um, I don't know I guess I don't know what you I mean he didn't explain anything but he was still there and um, but yeah I mean here's an example of some irrigation um, I really really enjoyed the museum I learnt a lot actually, especially about I guess the Portuguese occupation um, and yeah, I don't feel like I've spent enough time here so I definitely wouldn't come back if I, um, like I'll, to, to this actual museum I'll definitely come back if I come back to, um, to Oman, um, being a 45 minute flight away and for next to nothing on a, you know, a Wizz Air flight, um, I can see I probably will come back, it's been awesome. Beit Al Zubair, uh, which is another museum, and I'm pretty excited about it. So, um, yeah, I'm about to head in and see what's in there. Let's go. So I'm upstairs now and there's also a whole bunch of coin uh, displays up here as well. So it's been a really, yeah, really neat little um, museum that I've learned a little bit more about the 
the culture of the Amani people. And yeah, I'd recommend coming here. It's really good. So I've been here for about two hours. I've finished now. Um, very informative. I learnt about you know the traditional dress. I learnt about frankincense. Um, lots of good stuff like that. And um, yeah, yeah, about two hours. I mean, I, I did stop at the cafe and have um, like an ice cream and some apple pie. That was really yummy. Um, but other than that, yeah, I've just been lots of reading, um, which I love. Yeah, so definitely make the effort to get here. So I did come to see a couple of these forts so that is I think Al Jalali Fort across there um, and that's the palace and this one is Al Murani Fort um, and unfortunately neither of them are open uh, to public but that's okay because they're still absolutely beautiful looking at them from the outside so stunning. the Riem Sensor and it was built as a monument um, for one of the uh, anniversaries I think um, and I am about to go over there but I just came to this park first to have a look at it because this is a viewpoint for it um, over here uh, and yeah because what I didn't know was frankincense is from original from it's true frankincense is grown here in Oman so yeah Looking forward to going up there and seeing what that's all about. So the sensor is quite close to uh, a really, really pretty park uh, and it overlooks the water and the corniche. But, um, but again, uh, this attraction is not actually open to public. So it's a real shame. I think um, there's just a few things here that, oh, that the city could absolutely capitalise on if they were into um, attracting tourists to the city. Yeah, they may not be there, they might not care. Um, but yeah, the sensor some of the forts oh, they could be real money makers but it's unfortunate because i reckon the views from the top of that over the corniche would have just been stunning um but in saying that this park is absolutely beautiful and that's an abandoned amusement park which is also kind of cool if you're into abandoned places so yeah um I don't know where to from here. I will check uh, my list of things to look at. I've still got a few more hours until I need to be at the um, airport. So, I don't know, might even, I, I don't know. Uh, I'll see what else there is to see and do. delicious dinner at this restaurant here Ramsar uh, it does have it specializes in Amani food and I saw it on the map and I decided that that was what I wanted to have so um, when I saw camel burger on the menu I decided to have that I also had the most delicious beetroot salad I think I've ever had uh, it was beetroot with uh, rocket and um, whatever uh, dressing they put on it was just delicious and yeah I'm super full which is great I didn't have any lunch because I wasn't hungry after breakfast at the hotel um, yeah so now I think I'm just gonna head to the airport I'll probably get there about an hour earlier than what I need to but you know <laughs> I'd rather be earlier than late so uh, all good um, yeah Ramsar 
amazing Amani food. Includes my two days in Oman um, it was wonderful. The well, it's really just Muscat. Um, Oman is huge, and there's so many things to see. But I just stayed in Muscat. So, if I was to choose three top things to see um, in Muscat, I would say the um, the Armed Forces Museum. I learned heaps, heaps, especially about the Portuguese occupation. Um, uh, Beit Alzebeer Museum and Mutra Thought. Yeah, that would be my top three. Um, so yeah, so it's been great. Uh, whirlwind trip, but really worth it. And um, I'm really looking forward to going home. I'm exhausted.